Hey, I'm playing Fernando by ABBA, straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play along with me. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. After the song, I'll do a basic tutorial together with a slow motion close-up play along that you might find helpful. Final things, if you like the video, please like the video with a thumbs up. If you want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want hundreds more, free downloadable ukulele song sheets, each one with its own video tutorial and play along, check out our Dropbox and then come play with us. Here goes. Can you hear the drums, Fernando? I remember long ago another starry night like this. In the firelight, Fernando, you were humming to yourself and softly strumming your guitar. I could hear the distant drums and sounds of bugle calls were coming from afar. They were closer now, Fernando. Every hour, every minute seemed to last eternally. I was so afraid, Fernando. We were young and full of life, and some none of us prepared to die. And I'm not ashamed to say the roar of guns and cannons almost made me cry. Since many years I haven't seen a rifle in your hand Can you hear the drums, Fernando? Do you still recall the fateful night we crossed the Rio Grande? I can see it in your eyes how proud you were to fight for freedom in this land Ah, I couldn't do the whole band, but, you know, I did what I could with four strings on an acoustic instrument. All right, um, lots of the panache of this song is in the various strums I did. So you can, in fact, play this song, the entire song, with just a simple up and down. You can do that. You can play. I'm going to turn this off then.
This is a transacoustic instrument, by the way. It's got something going on inside with electronics, so no amp, but it's still got chorus and reverb, which I thought sounded kind of cool in playing that song, but now it's distracting. Okay, so, um, yes, you can play the entire song if you want. If you're a beginner's beginner and you have a hard time with strums, then just play like that. I would, I would emphasize, or I would suggest, that you emphasize the down strums. But you can play the entire song like that, and it will sound fine. If you get to the point where you're willing to work harder, or uh, get a little, you know, you're playing a little better, and you want to add more panache, I will show you every strum I used. Okay. Uh, but I tell you what, I think I'm going to go first to all the chord transitions, and then I'll go back to do all the different strums. So, chord transitions. We start out with the intro, right? And an A to a D, and that's... Uh, we do this other places in the, in the song, but so an A, or I got my A right, and then I leave my middle finger on the same fret, same string, and I drop the other two fingers. So it's kind of like uh, I got an anchor point there, right? I got an A, and then I drop my D, and then wouldn't you know it, from D to E, E is not an easy chord, but if you already have a D and you've formed it this way, see, normally folks make a D this way, right? Either they go kind of flat across like that or they use their strong three fingers. Sure, of course, why wouldn't you? But with this A, you already have a middle finger there, so drop your weak, weak fingers instead, and then they're already in place to slide up to the E. See how much easier that is? E is still one of the hardest chords in the song, but you can slide up and down from the E. And then to an A. And in fact, your your uh, anchor finger, this middle finger, it's going to stay the same on all of those chords. You got your A, D. It's sliding up and down, but it's staying on that string. And then you go back to the A, and it's still staying on the string. Slide back down to the second fret, but it's still on the string. So you got an A. All right, from A, then in the verse, down to a F sharp minor, easy. Just drop one finger, and you got your F sharp minor now. The next two chords I wrote in bright red because you can ignore them if you want. They are, in fact, the hardest part of the song. They are. I liked it because I like hearing this. I wanted to hear that, right? You got this. And then in the firelight, Fernando, I wanted to hear. I wanted to hear that on the soprano note, you know, the soprano string there. And so that's the way I did those forms. But you can skip it if you want. It'll sound like this. I remember long ago another starry light like this. In the firelight, Fernando. Way easier and not that much different. But still, if you want the challenge, so from the F sharp minor, again, the closest thing you have to an anchor finger is your middle finger. No, it's not. No, you got no anchor finger, sorry. <laughs> you're going to borrow the second fret, and then you're going to drop your ring finger the way I do it. It's like this. It's a B minor, and drop your pinky on the fourth fret of the first string. First, excuse me, it's the fifth fret of the first string. First counting from the ground, right? So that's your, uh, your second position B minor, right? Here's your first position. Second position. Third position, like that crawling up the neck, right? So, second position, that, and then an F sharp, but also a second position F sharp. But you notice your fingers are all almost in exactly the position you need. All you need to do is drop down one fret and drop your middle finger. And you've got that second position F sharp. Instead of, you do, and then do a B minor, right? Slide it back up and pick up, and that's it. Okay. And then from there, from the B minor, you got to go to an E, and that is a, a whole entire pickup, right? You just got to pick them all up and do the E. By the way, one more note on those harder, or one more comment on those hardest of the song uh, chords. I found that after an F sharp minor, at first when I started playing this, I kept putting my finger in the wrong, my pinky in the wrong place. I kept putting it slightly, you know, uh, not quite high enough. I found that I was able to get it right if I concentrated on twisting my hand more. So in other words, I've got my natural position F sharp minor, and then when I go to that B B minor, 
I twist my hand all the way to the side, and that ends up with in the right position for my pinky. So, all right. You're humming to yourself and softly strumming your guitar, and sorry, you just gotta pick up all your fingers and put them in a new place onto a knee. Sorry, I have no hints for that. I could hear the distant drums and raw sounds of bugle calls were coming from afar. We're back now to middle finger being the anchor point because it just slides down two frets and it's in the right place, so. Okay, now the chorus. There was something in you see how notice how easy that was? That's why I didn't make normally I would have made the a, a suspended fourth bright red, because you can ignore it if you want. But it adds a lot of panache. And look how easy it is. There was something in the Right, you make you just made two really quick chord changes and you just put one finger down and up. There was something in the air. I thought it sounded cool. So there was something in the air. And from the A. Yes, you're gonna have to jump up and land that E, sorry. Actually, no, excuse me. You do have an anchor point. That middle finger is still in the same place. Sorry. So sliding up the two frets, the middle finger is still your anchor finger. Uh, it's the closest thing you've got to an anchor. From that A to an E, and back down to an A. Fernando, and then to the A7, you're just picking up a finger. You never thought that we would. Now you're going to have to pick them up and drop them all again. Lose. That's how I do the F sharp. Barring the first fret and dropping the other two fingers. Lose. There's no regret. Okay, this one, your ring finger is an anchor point. It's just going to slide up one, one fret, that's all. And your middle finger is almost. It's going to do the same thing, just move over one position. You can leave the bar there if you want. So you can go from there to just changing the position of your middle finger if you want but I pick up the index finger and drop it because I think my fingers so naturally fall into this sort of B flat shape right here's your B flat this is a B it's just one up up one fret my fingers naturally form that so I can go from here quickly it sounds it it feels natural if I had to do the same sorry the closest thing you've got to an anchor there is the um, your index finger. You're just going to slide it barely over, right? It was covering two strings. Now it's going to be covering just one, and you drop the E. Same again, I would, my friend, Fernando. And then the rest of the song is, is uh, just the duplication of what I've already shown you. Now, as far as those strums, I suppose I'll do them in order. Starts out with a flourish on the intro. And yes, there were some leads that I couldn't figure out how to do at the same time as I was strumming, so I didn't try. But starts out, I just, I call this a flourish, right? It's just on the E. And then I'm gonna start in with, I called it a marching split strum. So that's what the, the down, up, down, up, down, up, down. But also, there's multiple references to drums here tonight, or on in this song. Um, I could hear the distant drums, and do you hear the drums, Fernando, right? That's why I did this split strum. Here's what I mean by split strum. I, you, I consider my right hand to be two parts. My thumb comes up separate from my index finger. Most of my strumming I'm in this verse, I'm doing with my index finger. Just like this. But every once in a while I put my thumb in the way. So it comes up twice. Like that. Two different sounds. Right? That's why I did in the uh, in the strumming notation there. I called it two little ups. Sounded like a somebody doing a little marching drum there with me. So, so I got started with the flourish and then D. So I started with the split, you hear that, right? Right before the first D of the D, E, D. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the D, E, A. And then the A settles into the regular pattern. And I start with the split right on Fernando. Can you hear the drums, Fernando? I 
I didn't do it on the first of the four beats, you know. Fernando, oh sorry, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, like that. Okay, now that arpeggio, I only do it in uh, verse two and verse three. I called it an abrupt arpeggio because I tried to make it abrupt instead of smooth. But the way I did the sound, the notation in there, one, two, three, four, those would be the strings that I'm plucking, right? Counting from the floor. One, two, and four would be these. By the way, when I do arpeggios, almost always, not always, sometimes I can't, sometimes it's trickier and, and I can't do it. But unless I have to, I use these four fingers, only have four strings, and I assign each finger a string, and they stay on that string during the arpeggio. So one, two, four means my index finger isn't plucking, but the other three of them are. Sorry? Oh, that's right. <laughs> and then I pluck the third one. Third counting from the floor, which would be my index finger. So that's how I'm doing it. Three and one. They were closer now, Fernando. Every hour, every minute seemed to last eternally. I was so afraid, Fernando. So the entire verse, second verse and third verse, entire verse, just that arpeggio. And if you have trouble with arpeggios and you just want to do the strum, you can keep doing that. Okay, but then the chorus, I would encourage you, even if you're a beginner's beginner, to change the chorus. Well, no, actually, that's not true. Uh, just change it by making it stronger, right? The, the chorus is where like, okay, now we're ready to go to battle. Here it goes. I hope it's for a good cause. People could die. You know that. It's a dangerous thing here. Battle. So, but so the chorus, right from the start of the chorus, the word there. There was something in the air that night. Okay? There was something in the air that night. Just strum. Um, even if you do that same strum throughout the whole song, make it stronger, louder, bolder during the chorus. The chorus is supposed to be that way. So, Anyway, that's it. I think that's the entire song. I am now going to play slow motion from the um, from the intro through the chorus, close up on my left hand, so that you can see every chord transition I'm making in slow motion. Now here goes. Well, it's not about, start out with a flourish, so I'm not sure how you do that in slow motion. But anyway, here goes. Slow and now. Can you hear the drums, Fernando? I remember long ago another starry night like this. In the firelight, Fernando, you are humming to yourself and softly strumming your guitar. I could hear the distant sound of dreams. Sorry, bugle calls were coming from afar. Here's the arpeggio. They were closer now, Fernando. Every hour, every minute seemed to last eternally. I was so afraid, Fernando. We were young and full of life, and none of us prepared to die. And I Sorry, Mike. Almost made me cry. My screen just dimmed. There was something in the air that night. The stars were bright, Fernando. They were shining there for you and me, for liberty, Fernando. Though I never thought that we could lose. There's no 
That's it. See you Wednesday. Bye.